13 BC. Around the area of the Forum and the surrounding hills spreads the huge city of Rome, home to almost one million inhabitants. August is transforming it into a city of marble, of unprecedented size and unequalled for almost two millennia afterwards. On the green fields of the Campus Martius, just outside the city, to the north of the inhabited area, the Algores draw the sacred perimeter of the Ara Pacis. They use arcane gestures and words which no one will ever comprehend again. To consecrate an area of 100 square meters to a young goddess, almost unknown in Rome, peace. The altar of the Pax Augustea tells the story of Aeneas, who flees Troy and lands in Latium, where he fathers a son, Eulus, from whom will descend Rome's founder twins and the family which produced the first emperor. Thus, the Arapachis, in a fashion entirely new to Rome, raises a living person to the status of the gods and heroes and presents the people with an image of the divine ancestors of their emperor. Caesar Octavian is nearly 50 years old. He is now Augustus, the Venerable, the Charismatic, the Predestined. For more than 20 years, he has had absolute control of the political scene and the army. Half of the Roman territories are under his direct authority. Together with the provinces ruled by the Senate, the empire numbers more than 50 million people, of whom some 5 million can call themselves Roman citizens. After having reformed the daily lives of his contemporaries, Augustus has undertaken a profound religious reform based on the restoration of the traditional cults. The Arapaches and his acclamation as Pontifex Maximus are part of this plan. Now that he is also Pontifex, Augustus must maintain the Pax Deorum, the pact between men and gods which guarantees the benevolence of the gods for Rome. Similarly, he reforms both the religious and the astronomical calendars. And so, in 10 AD, when the Ara is almost complete, he commissions an oriental mathematician to set up a huge meridian in Campus Martius, on the which he had an obelisk erected to show Romans the length of the days and the succession of the seasons. On the 23rd of September, Augustus' birthday, the setting sun projects the shadow of the obelisk towards the center of the Arapachis, and thus it appears that the heavens themselves declare Augustus to be natus ad pacem.